<sighs> Alas, poor Powerpuff Girls, I knew thee well. In the times of trouble, like 9-11, but you gave courage and boosted morale in, in that time. And we were grateful for it. Even me. Blossoms smartness. Bubbles cheerful spirit. Buttercups courage and backbone. <sighs> and now it's got rebooted just for the sake of the nostalgia factor. Just because for the sake of nostalgia, I mean, come on now. I just caught wind that uh, CW is planning to make a live action reboot of the Powerpuff Girls, except it's going to be dark, it's going to be gritty, it's going to be serious. It's not the Powerpuff Girls we grew up with at all. I mean, they're all angsty 20 somethings, and they don't know whether they could fight back or not. I mean, what will become of the professor? What will become of the girls? Will Miss Bellum replace the mayor or something? I mean, Miss Bellum was like the mother figure they never had. What about the villains? What would they look like if they were all dark and angsty tone? I mean, going back, I mean, first, the Powerpuff Girls style aka PPG style, I got my own thing. Uh, that was bad. Then the 2016 reboot. And before these two, the post-movie seasons. Yeah, the post-movie seasons. Then the 2016... No. First the post-movie seasons where Chris Savino took over. And then PPG style. That was bad. And now, the 2016 reboot, which was too much like a joke. Oh yeah, and this uh, necklace thing, that was a gift from Dan Rowe, my animation professors. One of my animation professors, yeah. He was a great guy. He gave this to me because he was thinking of me because he saw my Powerpuff Girls 2016 reboot. And, uh, it was great. So, shout out to Dan Rowe. But, I would say that, uh, a reboot, given a dark and gritty style, I know, I remember the original being half comedy, half action adventure, but, I don't think it would work. I mean, what will become of the gangrene gang, let's say? Would they be uh, green-skinned delinquents or delinquents dressed in green. I mean, the Amoeba Boys, how would that work? Would be a g gang of people who call themselves the Amoeba Boys? Or there will be these anthropomorphic, I mean, amorphous monsters of some sort. These blob-like creatures called the Amoeba Boys. They could be aliens. And what will become of Sedusa or Princess Morbucks would become some sort of delinquents of some sort or still uh, mob bosses playing revenge or worse have these two joined forces to take down the girls now Let's talk about uh, and what about Fuzzy Lumpkins would be a, some sort of hillbilly bum or something I mean it doesn't work in live action and let's talk about Mojo Jojo Will he become some sort of Toxic male or some sort? Or would he become some sort of uh, mutant chimp? Plan of the Apes prequels, anyone? And what become of the monsters? The giant monsters they fight that are invading a city? Pacific Rim or Legendary Monsterverse, anyone? Uh, this idea should have worked well on paper. I mean, there yet, let's pray tell that a dark and live action Greek version based on this cartoon doesn't get made. 
And if it does get made, I'll be vlogging about that CW show. <sighs> I'll be vlogging it. And with that said, I think a petition would work to get rid of that so-called art. I mean, people are like rebooting it for the sake of nostalgia. So do you agree or disagree? Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell bottom. This is Matthew Bielon saying, uh, see ya.